assalamu alaikum friend uh, today i will show you how can you send uh, data from lab view to cloud and the cloud here i am using is uh, uh, thing space it is a free cloud you can use for sending and writing and reading any data from lab view so just let me uh, define the code in the lab view it's very simple code uh, this is the website cloud address and this is a api key field values i will explain this you have to merge these two by concatenate string and the output of this one is fed into the format into string and there is one other input field as a string uh, which is here on the front panel and i just want to create the random number i just multiply by it 20 you can multiply by any number uh, because the random number generate uh, 0.1 by multiplying this it will be from 1 to 10 okay in between 1 to 10 the number will be generated and the, this number generated number will be sent to the cloud thing space by these vi open handler get vi and close handler this sim simple code which is used in the uh, sending data from lab view to cloud in the front panel i have nothing but this string uh, this will be used to send uh, the api key uh, i show you how will you do it first go to that thing speak thing speaks iot platform this address uh, if you search on the google let's say thing speaks login you click here and now on this page okay uh, if you don't have account you can create one or as i have account i will just log in like this put your password Now I am logging in the login page of uh, IoT Cloud Thing Space. Uh, now, what you have to do uh, if you have already created your channel, you can use that channel. Like I have already created these two channels my sensor with my name Asif, and this log showing that it is public and this is private. I create another channel just to show you. Just click my channel. Uh, put the name of channel uh, let's say I write the name uh, lab view to cloud okay you can put any description field level what the data you are sending what the data you are sending you have to write that values let's say I say random numbers okay you can uh, take total 8 field values in one channel okay if you want uh, if you want to see observe uh, more field values then you have to create another channel i just create one just to understand okay and then save channel now this have changed one field chart here uh, you see the name of lab view to cloud random numbers okay now the most important thing is that go to api key okay now let's see the code uh, observe the code from here mm, let's say i make it small okay mm, 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 mm. Now, see this address this address is nothing but this from https2 uh, com slash okay and now this one is actually update api key underscore and this is actually your api key uh, you can uh, also write it here make it fixed or as i made it dynamic 
means that uh, I create another field as a string as an input and I will just write this API key in the string here and then the data will be sent to, to this field here okay it is unique for that so this is nothing but uh, your I think uh, IoT cloud address this is the API key field you can see uh, like this more clear okay this showing that it is will be in the percent %f uh, okay and now I take this API key copy it and paste here okay uh, okay. why I write this one key uh, if as I want to send data from left view to cloud means I want to write so I take the right uh, right API key if I want to read from cloud to left view then I will take this key okay but I just taking this time this key okay now uh, I go to again my private view this is my field okay uh, I have written here the API and the rest of thing is the same nothing you just have to what to do you have to just put the string in the field of string the api key and just run it i just start running and let's observe my data should be visible here after some time it will take time to update on the cloud Okay. you can see one field value we observed here it is showing your time June 3 2020 time is 12 20 12 2 GMT plus 5 okay the value is 2.72 it will be from 1 to 10 okay now the second value see it is 7.72 now you are getting that okay um, Now the third value we get 9.23 see the difference how fast is updating it is uh, 2012 this 2012 18 and it is 2012 30, 80, uh, 33 means within a uh, 18 to 20 second you are getting your updated data on the cloud cloud okay okay now I just uh, stop it uh, let's say I just want to show you either it is uh, I move it random number and create here any cons any control to show you uh, any specific value let's say create uh, control and now number is multiplied by 10 so let's say I put it here 2 so what should be the result 2 multiply by 10 20 okay now observe on the cloud I should get the 20 um, wait a few seconds <coughs> okay 20 yes you can see the graph 20 okay now move to if I want to uh, I st first I stop it now if I want to share this um, <coughs> I, if, if this is private view means no one can see except me when I log in from my ID I can see only this this is my channel ID my this is my uh, author ID uh, address of my email ID now if I went to make a public so this channel is not public to make this channel public navigate to sharing okay you come here sharing and how you want to share this uh, visual to any friend keep channel view private it will be private as is by default share channel view with everyone if I click here then the everyone who is coming on the cloud this IoT perform can view my uh, uh, this visual but if I want to channel view on a specific user I select this and uh, write the email address then the only dead user will view your uh, channel data okay so let's say I make it to see everyone no issue okay uh, again we come to my private view 
now let me explore some more thing here uh, if you want to add visualization you can add it here like this uh, okay uh, add with okay now you can add also gauges numeric value lamp indicator image display let's say i take this one put it here in the same field value you can put name anything i just um, put it here okay okay now the gauge is here okay because showing the same my um, number 20 as it is the same have the channel name and the api key uh, let me check the api key okay okay okay, okay. this is your channel setting you can set your channel name if i want to add another field you can just click and field values you can add it here and but every time we when you create the field values uh, they will be different uh, channel name so that you can send different data to different field values like that here i have let's say uh, assume this is this field is for the pressure so you can create one field for temperature and uh, let's say your number sorry and uh, now uh, let's say uh, i put a lamp okay now lamp will be the conditional base either uh, true or false you can create here also uh, let's say another widgets i create you take the numeric value okay this will be numeric value 20 so these are the things which you can perform <coughs> okay now uh, channel setting export recent data you can export your data to let's say how many uh, csv file lab view to cloud feed data field mm, this one this channel or this one a random number or this one okay so you have three format json xml and csv i said i said csv okay the data is exported and downloaded let's open this check it mm, okay let me see how my data looks like in exported formula let's see this one mm, okay the data you can see here uh, this values uh, entry id this one and field value this is actually we have two different visuals so data is probably two different visuals and this is the time you are getting okay so this is also good you can export your data uh, here also here this one you can export feed okay okay you can get see the th same things okay now what the things anything else uh, import export api key sharing i have discussed about the sharing channel setting and this is the public and private uh, view of the data you can see also okay okay now uh, uh, view if i go view and click to watch unwatch you can make enable and disable from here okay and one more thing which i want to show you all apps uh, time control devices support okay my channel watch channel public channel okay uh, did you see i click channel from public channel these all the all channels who created and make it public you can see here there are many many channels thousands of different channel who created and uh, send the data on the thing space and they make it the public so that you can see that also you can search by any tag okay uh, uh, let's say uh, i i check let's say weather submit uh, these are the channels they created for the let's say esp to weather observation author this one channel this one uh, let's say i open this one let's see these are the temperature data uh, who created author this one channel id this one esp32 used weather observation okay this is temperature humidity parametric pressure dew point and the location and also the 
some videos from the Google you can see so there are many uh, channels who are that are the public you can see uh, just to make understand let's say if I open this one this one is also data of some places you can see okay you can monitor from anywhere if I make and share with anyone they can see okay so I hope you would like this uh, video thank you for watching if you like please like comments and share thank you very much